for more on this apparent new meme, darling, we're joined right now by Ihor Dusanuski. He's the head of predictive analytics at S3 Partners, which is a financial data company. And uh, Ihor, looking at this, I, I read through your notes, just want to make sure I understand this properly. Support.com is one of those stocks, you think, where the big short squeeze might never come. Why, why don't you explain that? Sure. Uh, good morning, Becky. Uh, thanks for having me. And we see some of the uh, meme stocks like the OG meme stocks of uh, AMC and GME that had huge short interest. So you had Act 1, which was the buyers pushing up the stock price, and then you had a short squeeze in Act 2. Well, we've got the Act 1 in stocks like BBIG and SPRT, but unfortunately, there's not enough short selling to have a big effect on the, on the stock price. You've got 10 million shares shorted in BBIG and 6 million shares shorted in SPRT. So even if most of those guys cover, it doesn't affect the stock price that much because you've got over half a million, half a billion shares traded during the past week. So anybody who's jumping into this thinking, OK, I'm ready to play and I'm going to see these big gains, you're saying it's kind of like waiting for Godot? Yeah, you're going to sit around and wait a day and another day and another day and see if Godot shows up or the short squeeze shows up. Um, you know, I'm not saying there's not going to be a short squeeze in these names because it, there very well could be because, you know, the support.com shorts are down over 200% over the past month. So, you know, there's a pain threshold there where they're going to start covering. Unfortunately, it's only 6 million shares of total short interest. So, you know, it's dropping a bucket to the daily trading volume. How much is going to move the stock price? You, you put Venco Ventures, ticker symbol BBIG, in, in the same camp. Right. Right. It's another name. I mean, I, I see a lot of these meme stocks from, uh, you know, from my Twitter account. I, I, I see the uh, uh, individual investors that are pinging me for information on the short side, because that's what we do. We give information on, uh, on the short side of the market. So they've been asking me about BBIG a lot. It's the same thing. It's a 10 million share short. Yet yeah, the stock is up big. The shorts are down 80%. Uh, but again, what is 10 million shares going to do if, you know, trading volume is over three quarters of a billion dollars over the past you know, week? Eeyore, is your sort of thesis that there's only a limited universe in, in stocks that can really be retail darlings, meme darlings like this, and, and that it's not going to be so easy to, to, to pick other names uh, that, that, have, that do the same sort of pattern that we've seen so far in, in names like AMC and GameStop? Yeah, you've got to look around because it really means you've got to look for stocks that have big run-ups, and you've also got to have stocks that have bigger short interest. So if you're looking for a Act two, the short squeeze. You know, you've got to see a stock that has you know the bullets to to make that short squeeze happen. So you look at stocks like you know Clover, uh, MMAT, Workhorse, Wayfair, uh, Blink Charging. These all stocks that have had run ups and have the short interest that can create a short squeeze that matters. You're you're a believer in meme stocks, though. I I would guess if you're spending this much time researching it. Well, I, I research the short side, so this is a big, big topic, a big piece of the short side. Besides, you know, I look at SPACs, I look at meme stocks, I look at, you know, stocks that are, you know, trading up and down in the market. But what I see is a big change in both uh, retail and institutional investing, where the momentum investing is a big part of people's strategy. On the, you know, on the long side on the retails, you know, these people have a fervor and, and a great uh, backing of certain stocks, and it, you'd be ridiculous not to take that into consideration if you're investing on the long and short side. Yeah, the, the, the short uh, side has never been easy. It's always been pretty tough, and I've never seen too many who, people who can be successful over it uh, over a long period of time trying to do that. Um, I guess it's a lot tougher these days, though. Yeah, I mean, you'll see some meme stocks where, you know, the shorts do make money. You'll see something like... Uh, you know, Sava, Cassava of Pharma, uh, Skills, where it's a meme stock. And it's really a timing issue. Are you a good trader? If you're a good time, you know, you can time the market, you can make money on these on these shares. Whereas people are getting carried out in, in uh, support.com, you know, they're up over 20% over the past month in Skills and SAVA. So if you're good, you're good and you're going to make money. Ehor, thank you.